Thank you for joining Creative Cal. Today, Adam Marshall, Chief Product Officer at Grass Valley, has some important announcements surrounding Grass Valley solutions for live production. Hello, Adam, and welcome to Creative Cal. Hello, and thank you for having me. Well, Adam, how has everything been going over at Grass Valley? Well, it, it's definitely been exciting times. There's been a huge amount going on, um, particularly in the run up to IPC, um, as you might imagine. But um, as some have kind of heard, we, we've gone through um, uh, a period of three year transformation, essentially, um, with Black Dragon as we kind of look to find um, efficiencies and update our organization and our um, product portfolio to really mix um, or align with the media landscape as it is now. Um, and we've been sharing that for us, that this is now at um, an end. We, we've completed that transformation. And so we've got key uh, organizational announcements. And um, so I've moved into the chief product officer role. Um, we've got chief operating officer with John Wilson. Um, and Ian Fletcher's moved into the chief technical officer role. But probably more exciting to um, our customers um, and the industry as a whole is the fact that um, we're now aligned into a growth mode. And so we're heavily investing across the board into our products. And for anyone who comes to see us at IBC, um, they'll be seeing a lot of exciting announcements, as you say, um, across our portfolio, hardware, software, um, and the AMP platform as a whole. That's right. So at NAB, Grass Valley announced the Grass Valley Media Universe. Can you tell us a little bit about the success that media companies have had on the AMP platform? Yeah, so I, I'll start by just um, correcting a rumor that, um, or an, an assumption in the marketplace that Grass Valley is going to pure software or um, cloud-only kind of solutions. Um, that's simply not the case. Um, we are a hardware-based company, of course, but um, five, six odd years ago, um, we saw the changes in the media landscape. We saw where the industry was going. Um, and rather than uh, where some organizations are starting their path now, um, we jumped in two feet first at that point and started developing out this ecosystem, this connected platform for both hardware, connected hardware solutions and software-based solutions all in one place. And that's what GB Media Universe is about. It's about having an e ecosystem, a platform for customers to have a single point of entry, a single marketplace for all their billing um, and their resource management and their deployment activities, but have the full capabilities of everything from acquisition, live production, asset management, play out and contribution, not only from Grass Valley, but also third parties as a connected ecosystem removing all of those constraints you would have with traditional systems or lift and shift systems, um, and really giving cost agility to our customers at a time when they need it most. Um, so with advertising revenues declining, um, the OTT and digital first platforms um, not quite tipping the balance to compensate for that agility um, and the ability for to try things out, start and stop things um, ad hoc, but also find a, um, a path from ground to cloud or cloud to ground hybrid solutions. That's what we're all about now. So that's exactly what we're kind of um, pushing harder at IBC. Um, so you would have seen the, at NEB, uh, we were emphasizing um, the platform capabilities with GB Media Universe and AMP. Um, and at IBC, we continue that, but with a stronger emphasis also to say, look, we do have hardware. We've got our camera lines that we're continuing to invest in. We've got our switcher product lines and our infrastructure product lines who are all being taken on that journey connected to the wider um, picture of AMP. You know, over the years, Grass Valley switchers and other hardware have always been seen as very reliable products by the users here at Creative Cal. And I'm sure that we can expect nothing less from the software. Um, so absolutely, we've um, seen massive surge of interest across both tier one and tier two customers who are familiar with Grass Valley, kind of taking this path into a more software-based kind of architecture. Um, we have been in nearly all major sporting events in 2023 in some form with AMP um, as a software-based ecosystem with major customers globally. Um, we're now with the surge of interest in the platform and we're moving to this um, acceleration of adoption of the platform, we're seeing on average over 3 million hours of application use globally um, per month on the system. Um, and that's kind of telling in how our customers are using it, um, but also some of the case studies we're um, seeing out in the field and including the likes of Paramount with CBS um, Sports Galazzo, um, who was speaking at NAB with SVG about how they've used AMP, um, in their case entirely in AWS. 
for an entire live production 24 seven network with um, the soccer feeds in the US. So this year at IBC, Grass Valley has an important announcement. Would you like to unveil that for us today? Uh, well, we've got lots of important announcements. Um, so we we have key announcements across pretty much every single product line we have. So whether it's um, further investment for our cameras. Um, so at NEB, we announced the Compact 135, um, a small form factor variant of our 135 um, camera. Um, all the same features in a smaller footprint. We've done the same with our 150. Um, so the Compact 150 with the UHD, um, three-speed capabilities, or six-speed 1080p is now available for customers um, from IBC going forward. Um, in our infrastructure product lines, we continue to scale out um, our capabilities with Orbit as an orchestration solution, um, the best-in-class solution for IP and SDI hybrid routing. Um, and with that, we've also partnered with TSL to provide um, native tally support in the product as well. Um, and of course, we're into further enhancing our infrastructure product lines with releases on our XIP platform and a brand new multi-viewer stacks with Collider IP and the modular and um, one IU form factor MP1200 series. So a full refresh of our multi-viewer stack. And that's just in the infrastructure product. When we shift over to live production, we've got a brand new panel from the Kaim platform with a completely re-architected uh, re uh, solution there. Um, we're showing us IBC um, the capabilities of the K-Frame switcher solution with a local K-Frame XP chassis with the best-in-class switching capabilities on-prem. But then at the same time, that same panel expanding and controlling a software-based switcher hosted in our um, both on-prem and in AWS, all at the same time to a single operator on a single panel, allowing customers and operators to scale as they need to. So I mean, that I think is quite revolutionary in the marketplace in terms of being able to scale out natively um, to the public cloud in that way. And then from our asset management solutions, uh, we've got um, the Framelight X, the successor to our Stratus product line, um, now including integrations with EMPS star solutions with a MOS-based player for newsroom and live sports um, newsroom operations and playback. And then in our playout portfolio, um, we've totally re-architected that solution to be, um, first of all, Linux supporting, just like the rest of the AMP platform. So whether you want Windows or Linux, that's absolutely fine. Whether it's on-prem, cloud, or both at the same time, that's supported also. You deploy where the applications, where it makes sense. But in doing so, in re-architecting that playout side of the product, we've also seen significant efficiencies with the highest density of channels on a block of compute that we have ever seen in the industry. So we've got much more efficiency there and I are ultimately a much lower cost of operation for our customers. So tie it all together and essentially it's a full stack of in, um, announcements um, and something we've got a, a lot of things to show customers when they come to the stand. That is quite an amazing stack of announcements. And I understand that Grass Valley will be at stand 9A01 this year at IBC 2023. Thank you, Adam, for joining us here at Creative Cal. Thank you very much. Good to speak to you.